Today we're shooting a drive through Edgewater and we got a little hungry so we stopped by this new restaurant. It's a Colombian restaurant called, called La Farandula and uh, we're going to check it out. Okay guys, so I, I ordered the whole fried fish, which is just a favorite of mine. And this is a, I, I actually don't eat rice. That's how I stay thin. And so what I did is I ordered a side salad instead. So they brought that right now, that's what this is. And over here, we have blood sausage. I know that might sound kind of gross to some of you guys, but it's super tasty. I believe sometimes I mix it with rice, sometimes I don't. I can't tell if they did that here, but it's one of my faves. It's got a special taste, very flavorful. I'm going for it. Mm -hmm. It's very moist. It's not a strong taste, but it's very tasty. So I just, I just really, really like it. These are corn arepas. I don't know, I think they're called like, in English, maybe corn patties or something. It's white corn. The Colombian arepas, they're not very tasty. They're really, I never quite figured them out, but it, I think they're meant to mix with other tasty things like this sauce and the blood sausage. Good. Guys, here's the whole fried fish. It's one of my favorites. Uh, typically in the restaurants, it's called Pargo Entero Frito, but I don't know if that's what it is here. Um, in any case, gotta have the, lemon on, the lime on it. It's a must. My doctor said I'm low on sodium, so if there was salt here, I gotta get some salt, put some salt on there. And here we have uh, tostones, which are key. But let me dig in and take my first bite. The fish, it's usually a snapper that they use. And it's just, it's just white and flaky and tasty. It's got a lot of flavor. I like the uh, texture of the, the fried fish. Of course, it's not as good for you as grilled and so on, but the little crispiness adds an extra little texture to the whole thing. Okay guys, I'm here of course with my wonderful videographer, Chris, who's uh, ordered the bandeja paisa, which is a super traditional Colombian plate. It's his first time, so I'm excited for him. What you have is you have fried egg, rice, sausage, uh, corn arepa, looks like they have a sweet plantain, they have pork, fried pork belly, I think it is, avocado, and I think it's red beans. So it is typically an amazing hangover meal, uh, but it's a meal that's gonna fill you up any day of the week. Guys, we just wrapped up our lunch here. I ate everything, I'm super full. My videographer Chris is super full. He destroyed the bandeja paisa plate, uh, which I was surprised. I didn't think he would be able to handle it, but I forgot he's a lot younger than me. Um, but in any case, the, the food here was really delicious. The fish, the fried fish was, was really moist, very tasty. I didn't even need to salt it. It's very unusual. It's not easy to get that right. The blood sausage, very moist. The salad was like a, a modern mix very fresh. So honestly, I'm really impressed with the place. I really hope it does well. Not only the food was great here, but actually the service was super smiley, super attentive. It was just a great experience. So definitely come check it out. It's on 27th and Biscayne in beautiful Edgewater. Come check it out.